Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the YA series that I own but have not read. In my last video I talked about all of the adult sci-fi and fantasy series that I own but have not read, so I'll go ahead and link that up in the cards if you're interested in checking that out. Without further ado, let's just get on into the series. I'm going to start with my sci-fi dystopian series first, so if you're interested in just checking out the fantasy, I'll put a timestamp down below. The first trilogy I'm going to be talking about is the Dustlands trilogy by Moira Young, and those books include Blood Red Road, Rebel Heart, and Raging Star. In Blood Red Road, we follow a girl named Saba who grows up in a place called Silver Lake, which is a wasteland ravaged by sandstorms. One day, cloaked horsemen kidnap her brother Lou, and Saba, not knowing what else to do, sets off to find him. Along the way, she meets a daredevil named Jack and a gang of revolutionary girls who decide to team up with Saba and help her find her twin brother. I have had this series for a long time, and the thing that really drew me to it was that it gave me kind of like Mad Max vibes, and I absolutely love Mad Max, so that was the initial reason that I decided to pick this up. I've heard mixed things about it. I've heard that the first book is really good, but it kind of goes downhill from there. I've also heard that this book does not use quotation marks to initiate dialogue, and I don't think I've ever read a book that didn't use quotation marks, so I'm really interested to see how I like that format. The next series I'm going to be talking about is the Firebird series by Claudia Gray, and those books include A Thousand Pieces of You, Ten Thousand Skies Above You, and A Million Worlds With You. I have read some of Claudia Gray's other works. I've read some of her Star Wars books, but in this trilogy, we follow a girl named Marguerite, and Marguerite's parents are physicists, and they have created a mechanism called the Firebird, which can jump between dimensions. One day, Marguerite's father is murdered, and all the evidence points to Paul, which was his assistant. Before the authorities can catch Paul, he slips away into another dimension. Marguerite, with the help of another physics student named Theo, decide to run after him into this other dimension. I was initially interested in this trilogy because I liked the science aspect of this book. I thought it would be really interesting to see how Claudia Gray talks about different dimensions and interdimensional travel, and that was the thing that really drew me to this series, so hopefully I'll be able to get to it really soon. The next series I'm going to be talking about is Chaos Walking by Patrick Ness, and those books include the Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men. This series follows a teenage boy named Todd, and Todd lives in a town that is all male, and these men can't actually hear each other's thoughts, and this accumulation of thoughts is called noise. Now something happens to Todd that makes him start to question whether the people in his town are hiding something from him, so he decides to flee his town. And on his journey away from this town and all of these men, he comes across a girl. Now Todd doesn't even know that girls exist. He was told that all girls have died of a disease. So he has to try and figure out the truth from the lies and why he has been lied to his entire life. I've never read anything by Patrick Ness before and this series has also been on my radar for a long, long time. And I know that they are in the process of making a movie adaption of this trilogy. So I do wanna to get to it before the movie comes out whenever they decide to post a release date. The next series I need to get to is the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu, and those books include Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. In this world, the United States is no longer the United States, and the Western United States has turned into the Republic, which is constantly at war with its bordering countries. We follow a character named June, and June comes from a really elite family, and her whole life she has been trained and groomed to join the Republic's military and become a really successful military officer. One day, June's brother is murdered, and all the evidence points towards a wanted criminal named Day. So June takes it upon herself to track Day down and bring justice for her brother, and along the way, they're playing kind of this cat and mouse game. And eventually, June and Day learn that there is more to what brought them together than they originally thought. I read Warcross and Wildcard by Marie Lu and actually really liked it. And I know that her books are really fast paced. So I'm pretty sure that I will be able to read these very quickly. And I'm eager to get to them. Now on to the YA fantasy series that I own but have not read. The first series is the Witchlands trilogy by Susan Dennard. And those books include Truth Witch. Wind Witch, and Blood Witch. In this series, we follow Safri, and Safri is a truth witch, meaning that she can tell truth from lies. Her magic is very much feared and coveted, and she is constantly fearing for her life, so she flees with her best friend to save Safri's life. Along the way, Safri partners with a prince named Merrick, and he helps her flee the blood witches that are coming after her to kill her. 
I have heard a lot about this trilogy. I know that it is very well loved and it is a very, very popular fantasy series in YA. And I just have a feeling that it's going to be one of my favorite fantasy trilogies that I've ever read. So this is a very high priority of mine to get to in 2020. The next trilogy I'm going to be talking about is the Rebel of the Sands trilogy by Alwyn Hamilton. And those books include Rebel of the Sands, Traitor to the Throne, and Hero of the Fall. This series is a desert fantasy series and it follows our main character named Amani. And Amani is a gunslinger and she lives in a very backwater part of the desert and there's not much opportunity for her. So she is constantly looking for a way out. And one day Amani meets a man named Jin in a gunfight and she decides that this guy is a way out of Duskwalk where she lives. That's all I know about this trilogy, but I do know that it is a fantasy series. I do know that the world does have magic. There's genies and mythical creatures. So I have a feeling that our main character, Armani, will come into magic or experience magic at some point during this trilogy. The next trilogy I need to get to is the His Fair Assassins trilogy by Robin Lefevers. And those books include Grave Mercy, Dark Triumph, and Mortal Heart. At the beginning of this book, we follow Ismay, and Ismay is fleeing an arranged marriage, and she runs off to a convent. While she's staying at this convent, while her intent is to serve the gods, she ends up finding out that she has been favored by the god of death. Therefore, she begins assassin training. In this book, we follow Ismay as she is given her most important assignment to assassinate someone in the court of Brittany, this very elite and established court. That is all I know about this trilogy. It is one that is a little bit older, and I haven't heard too much about. But I know it's something that I'm really going to enjoy and going to get through very quickly. And finally, we have the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. And those books include The Bear and the Nightingale, The Girl in the Tower, and The Winter of the Witch. In this book, we follow Vasilisa, I think that's how you say her name, and she lives on the edge of the Russian wilderness. And she grew up hearing and listening to stories of Russian lore. One day, Vasilisa's widowed father brings home a new wife from Moscow. And Vasilisa's new stepmother forbids them from honoring their ancestral and household spirits. And our main character starts to fear what this will bring. Vasilisa's stepmother becomes more and more determined to groom her stepdaughter into the perfect lady or send her off to a convent. While all this is happening, an ancient evil that had been subdued in the forest slowly creeps nearer to the village. And our main character, Vasilisa, has to call upon her magic, which she has concealed her whole life, to defend her village from certain doom. This is a series that I've been wanting to read forever and the books are really, really short and I know I'll be able to get through it quickly and I keep putting it off. I just have a feeling it's going to be one of my favorite series of all time. So it is a priority for me in 2020. Okay guys, so those are all of the YA sci-fi and fantasy series that I own but have not read. Let me know in the comments which ones I should prioritize and read first and which ones you really enjoyed or did not enjoy. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I post new videos and I will see you soon in another one. Goodbye.